Are you searching for the ultimate all-in-one platform to run your business? Let's discover Odoo, a powerful, free and open source suite of business apps designed to handle everything from ERP and CRM to accounting, inventory, HR, website builder and more. In addition to its many free apps, Odoo's marketplace offers paid applications for various industries and needs. And since Odoo is open source, you can build and customize apps on top of existing ones, tailoring them to your specific business requirements while keeping everything seamlessly connected. To start using Odoo, you can use their free cloud version up to one app only and unlimited users. And starting at $22 a month per user for the entire your free apps catalog. To get unlimited access for free and privacy, you can self-deploy it by following the self-hosting guides from their documentation. For an even simpler installation process, you can use a platform like ours, Elestio, to deploy it seamlessly on your server or the cloud provider of your choice. We handle the installation, backups, updates, and ongoing maintenance. To start using Odoo on our platform, head to ls.io and click on Login. Then deploy my first service, search for Odoo and select. Choose between the different cloud providers, regions and service plans based on your needs. Then next. From here you can adjust more advanced settings. Pick different level of support. The first one is free and included by default. And once you are ready, hit the create service button. Once the installation is finished, you will receive this email telling you that your Odoo instance is ready. Follow the click here to get the password link. You arrive on LSTO dashboard, copy the password to your clipboard with this button, and then follow the admin UI link. You arrive on your Odoo instance. Your logo can be replaced later. For now, we need to type our email and paste the password from our clipboard, then log in. Now, the first time we open it, we land on the apps marketplace. From here, you can browse the different apps available by categories. For example, sales, services, help desk, and many more. Let's go back to all. And you can see that you can do activate on some of them for the free ones. If you are using the self-hosted version, you don't have any restriction. You can install as many as you wish. And some other are paid apps, for example, MRP2. You can see it has an upgrade button. Let's click on it. And you arrive on the landing page of the app with a video, some details about what it is, everything to take your decision before installing or purchasing this app. Let's start by activating one of the apps that are included by default, the sales one. Click on activate. Once installed, you can only see a learn more button. And on the top left, you have the home menu button where you can see all the different apps installed on your instance. You have a button showing us now you have the sales one. Click on it and it opens the sales application with a very nice onboarding. First of all, there is a video to explain to you what it is about. You can play it and you have a presentation and some details about what it is. Let's close it. Then we can follow the guided tour. Here in the top left, you can see this arrow pointing the new button, explaining us what it is. Build your first quotation right here. Let's do it. And let's simply follow the onboarding tour. Search for our customer name. For now, we don't have any customer. So it's only the administrator or the company, but we don't have anyone. Let's type test customer. And once there is an entity that you don't have yet, you have create button or create and edit. Let's simply create it. And if needed, you can customize it later. Then we need to add a product. Let's say we are selling office supplies, for example, office chair, office chair. And the same principle apply. We don't have any product yet, but we can create it or create and edit. We can define a price, let's say 600 and automatically you have different taxes that can be applied. You can configure them globally on your setup. Let's keep the 15% and you can see on the bottom right and tax amount, the taxes and the total amount. On the quotation, you can add different products, add section, notes, terms and conditions. Everything is customizable and you won't lack any option. 
Once you are ready, let's follow it. Send by email. As this is a test, we will only send it to ourselves. You have the choice between different layout. There are like themes for your quotations. You can decide which one you like and use it. You can see there is your logo here and it is your company logo. So if you change it here, it will change it for any app and even the login screen. Because one great thing about Odoo is everything is nicely connected. When you add a customer in this app, it add it into the other one that require customers. Because your data is in Odoo, all apps are using the centralized data. Let's edit our logo. I will add the Elestio one. Perfect. You can see it's here and it's also inside the quotation. We can adjust the colors. Let's use something oranges. And now we have our branded quotation. Once you are happy with the result, click on continue. Then it will allow you to edit the customer. You can add a picture to it. Let's say I am the customer. You can add a company to it. And like with the other things, you can create, create or edit one or assign one that is already created. And the fun part is I think it's choosing one online because it's using our logo. I didn't set up that. So if I'm using Google, there is some auto completion done so you can find through the register of companies online. Perfect. Let's choose Google Design. You can add the email address to be able to send the quotation. And once you are good, save and close. It will profile everything, but you have the option to adjust things. My company quotation, hello, your quotation. Then you can see it is attached and you can send it by mail. You have a nice animation when it's done. And on the right, you have a nice history to know what actions have been performed on this quotation and by who. Ideal if you are working in team. All right, let's go out of the sales application to discover a few other ones. Let's go back to apps. And then it depends what you want to achieve. For this demo, we can say we want to sell things online, sell your products online. Let's activate the e-commerce one. Once the installation is finished, you will see this other onboarding tool. This one is very different because each app is unique. And even if I liked the previous one, this one is very nice. Maybe you want to skip it and on the bottom right you have a button skip and start from scratch. But we are new users and we want to discover it. Let's do it. What do we want? An online store. You can see there are different categories. For my, and then we select what kind of business we are. We say the office supply store. Do they have it? Yes, perfect. Office supply store business. With the main objective too. Do we want to get leads, develop the brand, sell more, inform customers? Let's choose sell more. Then we can choose a color palette or it detect one from our logo. You can see it picked the red and the black. Let's skip it and let's go. Then from here, we can pick the pages and features we want on our website. So because I say we want to sell more, automatically I have the shop selected here, but I could select everything and it's what we are going to do because we just want to discover the different features. You can see you have very different ones for um, live chat, e-learning, stores, locator. Okay, build my website. You have the choice between three different themes. I guess we can customize it later. You have a nice preview. Pick the one you want or you can click on view more themes if known suits your taste. Let's pick the one in the middle. And now it's building our website. It's a true website builder and it's building the different things. The last step is a bit longer than the other ones because it's activating the last features. What it means is it might require other apps on your Odoo instance and it will install them. Perfect. Our website is now ready. We have a preview of it. You have a menu on the top with different links. You have a nice section with images related to office supply. Discover our products, what we do. It's a very good starting point for an office supply store. Currently, we are in view mode, so we can't edit anything. But on the top right, you have the edit button. To enter in edition mode, you can edit the text, change different things, add blocks if you want to create your page yourself or just adding the text 
adjusting the colors and so on. A true website builder. I won't spend too much time here because it could be a dedicated video for each app. Let's click on this card. We won't save any modification. Just know that you can edit your pages and then on the top you have the site to browse all the different pages, the SEO edition. Then because we want to sell products online, we can go to the e-commerce section, see the different products that we provide. We don't have any yet, but we can add them and do everything so they be listed on our website. And in configuration, you have a lot of payment providers you can use. Depending on your location, all won't be available, so pick the one you want wisely. Most of the time, PayPal and Stripe are good choices. Perfect. Now we have seen they have this lovely website builder. There is something we need to check is the dashboard. And from here, because you have a lot of interconnected apps, you have a clear overview of everything. We don't have much data. We didn't create many things. You can see we only have one quotation. But you can see the different apps installed. We have the sales, the product we made in the sale. You have everything available at your disposal. And because we installed the website builder thing, you can see that two models are enabled in the dashboard, the live chat and the e-commerce one. From here, you can have a clear overview of your sales. The more application you add to your Odoo ERP and CRM instance, the more thing available you will have inside the dashboard. And on the top left, you can see we have many more application that we had before. As we checked all the different type of pages when we created our website, such as e-learning, it had to install the app because it's not an isolated app. It's using the one from Odoo. So every model is connected with the other ones. Removing the barriers, sometimes you need to integrate different apps with others. But for this, you have NADN. Once you have installed all the apps and modules you need for your business, you need to invite your team. For that, go into the settings. You can customize absolutely everything. Invite your team members inside Manage Users. Click on New, add your employees or your team members. Choose different rights in administration, they have access rights, settings, and for each model, you choose what they are able to do. Let's go back to the settings. You can update your company info. And you can see that our logo has been automatically set here because when we sent the quotation, we uploaded it. But you can add all the different details here, your address, company ID. So it will be pre-filled in your quotation and invoices for your customers. I highly recommend you to browse the Odoo marketplace. Maybe there are apps that your business could benefit from. And as always, have a look at the documentation for features I didn't mention is this platform overview that could be very useful for you. Thank you for watching. We hope you enjoyed discovering Odoo with us. Please hit the like button to help our channel be more visible to other open source lovers. Don't forget to subscribe to not miss our next platform overviews. If you want to continue your open source journey, watch this video available here.